The weekly shop at the supermarket, packed in bags made of plastic, but a very special kind of plastic. 100% compostable, says the logo. This plastic, which is both resilient and environmentally friendly, was developed by BASF. It's called EcoVio, and it's certified as biodegradable according to European standards. That's why it carries the so-called seedling logo. The fact that the bag decomposes has been proven, but does it do so quickly enough as professional composters demand? BASF decided to compare several products in a benchmark trial at a German composting facility. It included a so-called OXO PE bag. This is labeled as biodegradable. BASF's EcoVio bag. It is identical to the discounter's bag. Its plastic contains renewable raw materials. Plus, another newer generation EcoVio bag from BASF with a slightly different composition. BASF employees fill 100 bags each with typical household bio-waste, green garden waste and kitchen waste. It is not a large-scale trial under laboratory conditions, which is why it is not considered representative. This time, scientific research is doing something completely different, but at the same time, it has a clear goal. We want to show under practice conditions that our EcoVio bags comply with the industrial requirements of composting facilities and biologically decompose in accordance with the required conditions. In the composting facility, employees mix the bags with the other bio-waste. They are evenly distributed in the pile, and their approximate location is documented. The bio-waste needs three and a half weeks to become compost. For normal bags, this would be impossible. They are a nuisance for composters. Unfortunately, a lot of bio-waste is still packed in bags. And these bags we cannot separate well enough from the bio-waste. Because we have to comply with specific quality assurance criteria. It would be good if we could reduce the level of impurities to zero. A comparison of the different bags. The EcoVio bags are degraded on the compost heap by microorganisms. They behave like biological waste. Nothing remains except water, carbon dioxide and biomass, all of which are natural substances. Unlike the so-called oxobiodegradable bags, these are not really composted. When exposed to heat and ultraviolet light from the sun, for example, all they do is disintegrate into tiny polyethylene fragments over a period of time, which is why they are not certified as compostable. Polyethylene bags, in other words, normal plastic bags, should never end up in the compost. They don't decompose and, as foreign matter, have to be removed from a composting environment at great expense. A BASF production facility, the plastic EcoVio is being manufactured here. It consists of two components. The first is the BASF Plastic EcoFlex. This petrochemical-based plastic is already biodegradable. The second component is polylactic acid, which is made from cornstarch, a renewable raw material. The two components are melted together to produce EcoVio, which comes out of the extruder in long strands. In this scene, the plant is being prepared for production. A rotating knife like this one usually cuts the cooled strands from which the plastic granules are made. On the left, EcoFlex, the biodegradable petrochemical based plastic. On the right, EcoVio, the plastic with a high proportion of renewable raw materials. BASF manufactures film made from EcoVio on a very small scale for quality assurance purposes only. The granules are melted and pulled into a film. They may not exceed a specific strength and must be free of inclusions. Once it has been approved, the product is delivered to customers, in this case to manufacturers that produce bags on a large scale. The EcoVio granules are packed in these large containers. Three and a half weeks later, and we're back at the composting facility. The bio-waste has turned into valuable compost, which is supplied to farmers and private households. 
The nutrient-rich material must be free from foreign matter. Impurities such as metal, glass, or plastic were separated out earlier. The foreign substances usually need special disposal. This time, however, the plastic residue will be used for research purposes. And now comes the exciting part of the composting trial. The answer to the question, how much is left of the test bags that were buried in the compost? BASF employees examine the waste piece by piece. Most of the shreds are easy to identify. They have nothing to do with the test bags. When they are not sure, the lab people use black light. Before the trial, the bags were equipped with UV markers so that even inconspicuous scraps are suddenly clearly visible in the dark. They can now be easily matched. The results show that almost everything has remained of the OXO bags, which are advertised as biodegradable. Just a tiny residue remains of the 100 discounter bags made of BASF's EcoVio. And absolutely nothing is left of the latest generation of EcoVio bags. The photos taken at the end of the experiment also clearly show that the oxodegradable bags have remained almost unchanged, whereas the EcoVio bags, apart from a few scraps, have almost completely, and in their latest version, completely degraded. For professional composters, this makes them an acceptable alternative to the otherwise usual paper bags. As we have problems with plastics in our compost and can't eliminate them completely, this was a good opportunity to address the problems and to show through the experiment that it's possible to develop a plastic which is 100% biodegradable and which will give us fewer problems in our end product. BASF research also reaches a thoroughly positive conclusion about the test results. The trial went very well and we are very pleased with the result. BASF's biodegradable plastic material EcoVio behaved as we had expected. It completely degraded in the composting trial in contrast to the OxoPE bags, which didn't degrade during the trial. EcoVio is compostable according to European Standard 13432. Shopping bags and compost bags with the BASF material justifiably carry the seedling. For customers, these bags have a double advantage. They are both a robust means of transportation and a clean and waterproof container for bio-waste. Now it's up to the politicians to approve the bags with a seedling logo for use in bio-wheelie bins nationwide. BASF. We create chemistry.